Uh, but we also have... Okay, some medium bombers. Which have the range... They have the range of the Java Sea. I don't see that's a particular problem at the moment. We've got 100 there. 100 there. Let's put them up here. There's got to be some more traffic up there. Got to be. Good stuff. Good stuff. We've got room for any more planes here. Yes, we have. We can put those interwar bombers in. We can put the naval bombers. Actually, we should see where they really need to go. I do have an idea, actually, because I built this, didn't I, for this job? Yeah, the fighters... I don't know if there's going to be any real need for this. I was thinking up there, I don't think there's going to be any massive need for it, though, is there? Japanese shouldn't be moving stuff through there. Over here... Yeah, this... What have we got? This is a big airfield, so let's put them in. We're going to have the interwar bombers, which will... They're rubbish, but they'll get upgraded to the, the new tacticals. And did I have a hundred? Hundred naval bombers. Train them up. You played Hearts of Iron a while back as Norway? You never finished. I don't know. I, I, I tried playing as Poland and got stomped. Well and truly stomped by Germany. I didn't stop them at the border at all. <laughs> it, uh, it went bad. I played as the Netherlands. Went and went to war with Germany and did it for the achievement to try and survive till 45 which we did by just building forts and then sitting behind those forts and never doing anything the entire time it was a, a very boring game but it was nice to get the achievement I suppose Japan declared war on the Dutch East Indies support Rock Island I can't remember oh this was the artillery bonuses wasn't it research for armor Let's see what's going on over here now. See if anything's opened up with the new wars. Nope. There's nothing new in there. Apart from the Manhattan Project, which we're not quite at that stage yet. Uh, US Marine Corps. So that's just Marine Research Bonus. Okay. Oh, hang on. This is going to be good now. Unrestricted submarine warfare. We've got the subs involved, so let's get that on. Hey, friend, how's it going? How's the war going? It's going interesting. The, the aircraft are doing their job. We're getting a nice amount of ship kills. Okay. Looks like we're now allied with, Jap with, with Britain. Okay, that, has that drawn us in? I need to see how that's affected our situation, actually. How do we see that? Diplomatic status. There is a button for it, isn't there, somewhere? Where's the diplomatic status button? God, how can I how can I forget how to see this? Just a minute. That's it. No, so we're not at war with anyone else. So that's not dragged us into anything. Good. Don't think we're ready for a war with Germany just yet. You had coastal batteries and subs. Cost a fortune. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to... It's, it's interesting how these games go. I do I do like them um, quite a lot. This is certainly the best World War II strategy game I think I've, I've ever played. How is that submarine force doing? We've lost 10 subs already. We may have to consolidate. I mean, I don't want them all to get wiped out. We also need a training force, I think. Just hit pause on that. What have we got? So we've got new subs coming in. Some of these guys... No, the strike sub should be okay. Okay, let's... Um, let's let's mix those into one. And then set that off training. And when they're trained, we'll get them in. I've got the Pacific Fleet, which I am... I guess I should move it out. We've got these... Don't want to leave it somewhere really vulnerable at the same time it's there to use though isn't it Midway doesn't even have a proper base yet where did I build okay I can build it there 
I can put them into to Wake Island. Let's set them off there. Did that not go? Sorry, I had the wrong thing selected. Engage at medium risk. And not repair now. Where's the repair priority? Automatic split off is not... not no, we'll keep them together. Hi. Okay. Put that to not never repair. Medium. Put that to medium. And when they get there, we'll give them the, uh, the strike order. Maybe we'll get the marines over there. Let's get the marines over there too. Everyone's kicking off now. Yeah, a load of, a load of powers yes, that will sir. never get into combat are kicking off now as well. We'll put the marines over on this place. We've got a big naval base. We're going to be fine. Not quite sure what or where I'm going to attack yet. The initial objective was just to control the seas, sink the Japanese... Na oh, wait a minute. Hang on. What have we got here? We've actually... Have we just sunk? We've sunk the Japanese pride of the fleet there. <laughs> That's a... That's a victory with my my naval bombers. Look at that. What was that? The Nagato, early heavy ship, sunk by PBY Catalina and a light cruiser. That's some good work. Okay, let's go for this. Are we in 42? Nope, not yet. Yeah, okay, Germany's in the war. But I'm not at war with Germany. I haven't got tangled up with uh, the Germans. We're in 41. Let's go for... Let's go for all of these. So, okay. Well done, Japan. That should make my life a bit easier when the fleet arrives. Where is it? Can we see where it is? On its way. Unassigned divisions. Just a few more before that army's ready. We'll have to see what we're going to build next. So I need to find a way in. I mean, this is the way into Japan, but is there... There's no point. There's. Oh, I'll just check the resources. I don't think there's any point in fighting our way across the islands. There was... Uh, this place was rich in... Have I got the right... Hold on. Am I looking at the right... No, this place. This place was rich, but... Uh, don't think the other Pacific Islands are. So they're useful as popping off stations, but not for much else. Pearl Harbor's fine. They've missed. <laughs> yeah, it'd be good to take that airport. But that's a... Where's my... I'm sending the Marines to there. And it would be good to take that place. Is this part of... All part of this one, okay. I have a suspi suspicion that uh, we're going to get invited to join the Allies soon. What have we got? Military access request from the Netherlands. Ah, there we go, there we go. So, the air go on, accept them. So we've joined the Allies. Now we're going to have some fun. What's that, uh, what's that put us into? Let's just check. Has it dropped us at war with Germany? No, it has not. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would. But that's fine. So what I can do is put these... Not the heavy bombers. Sorry, I thought that was... There we go. 200 fighters. We can actually go and help the uh, the British out. Let's see where we want to put them first. Is there no airfields on Malaya? I mean, we can put them there. We can help defend Singapore. We should have access to this as well. We might as well put them there, eh? Let's go get them. If we can do this. That's a long flight. We'll put them on. Man, there just for a bit of experience. Okay, we're gonna to have to make a decision and start doing something. It, it'd be tempted to try and just 
do this quickly and knock Japan out. Where can I actually get? We don't have access to the Soviet Union. I can land, you know, I can land an army here and just put them on the front line because it builds up war score, so you get a better result at the end of it. If you just go and knock Japan out without doing the fighting and taking the casualties, for all you might conquer the country and knock them out, you don't build up a big amount of war score, and that's uh, where it's kind of, kind of useful. I, well, I was going to flood the Pacific with subs and mines. And I, I don't know if you were away when I discovered that the uh, mine-laying submarines that I'd been building since 1936 didn't actually have any mine-laying equipment on them. So <laughs> they're all in port getting refit. <laughs> Japan, the 51st state. In fact, it, what would it be? It would be the 48th state, because I don't think Alaska and Hawaii are states at this point. And what are we sinking? So we're losing subs messing about in the seas of Japan. That is a dangerous place to be. The aircraft are definitely doing better. We've got the light tank done. Useful. Let me research. I'll do the anti-aircraft version of that. I have a plan for that. Oh, what's this? What? What is all this? Call to arms. Go on, let's do it. In for a penny, in for a pound. We're in. We're at war with the world now. I should probably read this, but I think it's all just going to war with Germany, is it not? Let me just check that, that is the case. So we are now at war with everybody. Excellent. That's what it needs to be. This is all my look at all my mine submarines getting refit. Before I can use them. Uh, let's see. It'll, it'll go pretty quick. That's the one. It will. Honest. No, no. Just single player this. Uh, let's see. What are we sinking? Picking up the odd destroyer. Odd convoy. Uh, so those aircraft that I sent over there, they're now doing a rapid about face. They're not there yet. Does it say in transit? There's a group of 200 of them. Should be able to see them. There, that's that's the one. So these guys. Which are heading that way. I actually want you to go to uh, to England now. You're going to have a job fighting over the channel. There you go. That's probably a recipe for disaster, but we'll send them in. <laughs> oh, hang on a sec. Did I do the? I I need to add a few more, a few more zones onto this. Have we got these selected? We have. Okay. I'll put them in. Suddenly that's gone green. That's good news. We'll probably end up fighting in... I'll add these on too. We might come out the other side of Asia in a minute. There we go. But yes, we want to escort our ships around here. They won't actually sail there unless... Um, Unless some of our convoys do, so that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, we're taking some heavy hits here. Let me let me clump those guys back up together. And these are mostly going to be the early subs that are getting sunk. What time are we on? Half five. What have we got? Uh, they're busy. Have we got any air groups that are? No, I think I think we're all doing stuff. We can definitely have some more aircraft over here if we've got anything spare. Heavy fighters. I'll put them in and just get them training. Did I not click OK? OK, there we go get them into action. <laughs> they land in the marinas, or 
You can attack, attack, retreat, attack, retreat, and drain Japanese equipment and supplies. What I'm thinking of doing, well, we'll we're going to see about knocking out this airfield here. Because uh, the Japanese, they don't want that. And I can put some craft on there and gain a bit more air superiority. Uh, which is handy to have. And then I guess we'll work our way up to this and this. What's this? This is um, Marcus Island. This is Iwo Jima here, isn't it? Yep. And we'll work up there. But I think the proper invasion, when we get it, will come from the, the north down here. Are our marines Attention. ready? They're not there yet. And I suspect my big fleet isn't there yet either. Where is it? Click on one. No, it is. All right, excellent. Let's put that on a strike order. Which one is it? Strike force. So. But which, hang on, why did I say they were? They're here. So let's just put them on there. I'll, I'll do it on the neighboring sea zones. For all that, uh, they might not have the range to do that, but let's see. That might trigger some huge attacks if we find them. I'm planning on fighting myself for two days, like the US did. No, tell me more about that. I don't remember. Don't remember hearing about that. You make a marine division 25 width for com island hopping. I've never tried that. I'd start with 20s. And then when I get enough um, of the, uh, what do you call them? Um, I was going to call them submersible tanks, but they're not submersible. If they're submersible, something's gone wrong. The um, amphibious tanks. I usually, uh, when I get enough of those, I boost them up to 40 width, which is quite nice. And thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow, guys. Have not upgraded the carriers yet, no. I am building a new carrier. It, uh, it got lost down the list of priorities. We have another carrier coming through the dockyards, but uh, that's what we've got there. Taking what, what we had available. My naval template? For what ship? Or for the fleet, do you mean? I'll show you what I've got for the fleet, for the strike fleet. It is... Uh, currently four carriers, four battleships, and 21 light cruisers as screen. All ships? I haven't really modified them very much. So, apart from the, uh, my, my light cruisers for the four, my 1940 model cruisers, 40 subs, um, I haven't changed anything for the battleships and carriers, so it's pretty much a standard. Not a lot to see there, really. What are we doing? We're sinking enemy ships nicely. Looking good. So the US went in to liberate one of the islands, but the Japanese had left days before. The island was foggy as hell, and they started shooting at each other in the fog. 200 casualties during a two-day scuffle. That was unfortunate. We've got the logistics. Oh, I've got some nice research bonuses on these. I'll be putting this onto the armoured divisions, which we do actually have in production. Let's edit that. Save. <laughs> Another one of those bits of history that uh, is not quite... Um, well, they haven't made any films about that in Hollywood, I bet. <laughs> we like to keep that one quiet. Nice. A few ships have been picked off. I mean, my subs, my early war subs, um, I've lost 30. I've lost a third of my sub strike force for submarines. I, I bet they're mostly early ones as well, which we kind of expected. Ah, now we're starting to get... This is looking more like it. We are starting to get the reinforced mine lane submarines, which we really, really wanted. So can I split those into... Didn't really want to split them. Hang on. Join them back up. We can't split them by a third, can we? I'm trying to find the easiest, the laziest way of doing this. 
split them in half. Select that. One, two, three, four, five. You force. That's it. Put them in there. And then set, set these lots into mine laying. Now that we've got the ability to do it, should make a big difference. We'll stay away from the coast of Japan. That often causes trouble. We'll just uh, we'll just sort out this bit and see how that goes. We could send them off over here, actually. Which would be highly interesting. I can put an army ashore now in North Africa if I want to. I can put an army ashore in South Africa and fight our way up, but that's that's generally bad. Just because of the supply situation. I could invade. Where could I invade from? I don't think I can get... If I can get an army into free France here, supplying them here is generally really bad, though. But it would gain experience. Go on, then. That's what these fellas are for. That's what I built them for. Actually, that army is not yet complete, is it? Ready to move. Command. Well, historically, neither was the army that landed in North Africa. We should have permission to go over here. We're currently at war. 97% chance of being detected intercepted. Oh, because I don't have um, escorts down there, do I? Can I send them here? Hmm. I'll maybe just hold off on that plan for a bit. Have a think about where I want to put them. I don't just want to stick them in just for the sake of getting experience. Oh, nice. What do we have here? The Battle of Iwo Jima. So our big fleet came out and sunk 14 destroyers. <laughs> that was a nice uh, nice little collection. Probably land in Morocco. Yeah, the trouble with landing there is the supply situation's bad. And with it being allied land, you're not allowed to build infrastructure or ports to improve the flow of supplies. So I'd have to be careful of what I, what I put in there. I could send aircraft over. That might be something to do. We've got planes in the channel, haven't we? Do we can we get to see I don't think the I don't think they have any aircraft in the channel. Alright, well we've got 200 fighters here. Which might be more use. I might split them in half, actually. Let's put some Oh hang on, is that another airfield there? Spanish Africa, okay. Don't think the Spaniards will like me trying to land stuff there. I could put... Go on then, I'll put the other lot in as well. And let's try and get control of... Actually, no, let's, let's put these guys... Let's put them both over there. Safety in numbers, I think. We might be able to form another... We could put the crap stuff in <laughs> let's put a hundred of these in they will form up and we'll put them on combat air patrols they can train on the job they'll be fine absolutely fine I could put some divisions in Gibraltar that would work hey aimless yeah everything's everything's sort of going well apart from my my brilliant plan where I made I built a hundred mine lane submarines without any mine lane equipment on them Apart from that, everything's pretty much going according to plan. It's just a minor point. <laughs> Let's see, what have we got here? Anything ready to deploy? Nope, not yet. They're still training up. Philippines wants to help in our efforts. Bring them all in. But the aircraft are doing a good job, which is which was my major plan, really. Yeah, I'm planning to mine the entire Pacific. I, I see no problem with that uh, with that strategy whatsoever. All the way from China to San Francisco. Just to be safe, you know. We've had the first big fleet battle. Well, it wasn't a big fleet battle. My, uh, my strike fleet found a load of enemy destroyers. Similar to this, we've got planes joining in. We lost some subs. I don't think that was a good trade. I kind of expected the early subs to go down fast, though. I 
Yeah, I, I remember fighting through Africa from my previous games I've played. It is painfully slow. Kingdom of Greece has capitulated. I forgot they were even a thing anymore, actually. If we could get permission to uh, to move through Iraq, I could move, bring an army in this way. Can we ask them? We can't. We're not going to get that. It's unlikely we're going to get that. And I wouldn't be able to supply them anyway. It'd be a hell of a job supplying through there. Doable, but very awkward. This ocean is mine. I, I see what you did there. Okay, so have we got any more aircraft sitting doing nothing? Yes. These fellas are definitely ready for a fight. Where do we need to put them? We are sinking ships over here. I'm going to add them into this job. Check my other airfields. They're busy. They're losing aircraft, so they must be fighting somewhere. They're all busy. That's okay. Keep those convoys going down, fellas. Doing well. Proud of you. Oh, I'll get called in to defend um, allied convoys as well now, won't I? Not necessarily a good thing. You ready? They're, they're ready. Okay, where should we go bomb? I don't know there's much down there. I don't know there's much there at all, but... Let's put them over this. Where are those marines at? Yes, sir. Four divisions of marines over here. I think... Because the target I want is this, just to get the airfield. Just to generally tidy up a bit. Actually, why not do this? Let's, let's plan a naval invasion. We'll take these on the way. Just so it looks tidy. We'll go for a naval invasion. We leave... Which way around do you do this? Do we left we left click that and then we right click? Uh we right click that. We shouldn't need all four. Well we'll split them up and then we might attack from two sides. It's a dangerous thing to do because if your main attack doesn't go in, you have no port, and then you can't get the hell out of there. But uh, you can build a port on a place you've captured. But then it's a bit of a time, timely matter to get it sorted out. <laughs> yes, I know, the US going for an intervention in Iraq uh, scheme already. <laughs> it wasn't for the oil or anything, honest. You tried landing in China to invade Japan from the West, slowest advance ever. I can imagine that's difficult because the one thing you always struggle with, and this is not a great area for infrastructure anyway, and ports, but um, a naval bases for that matter, is when you in when you go and help your allies out, is just getting enough supply through, and you can't do anything to improve that. You can't build any infrastructure or roads or ports to improve the stuff coming through the cities and bases. And I I found that really hard. And yes, this this area, helping out as an ally, I, I imagine would be a nightmare. It's hard enough when you play as the Chinese. What's this? We seem to have a bit of a fight going on here. Submarines involved. And Japanese Navy. Well, we're knocking some convoys off. Basically, if the Japanese run out of convoys, they're not going to be able to supply their troops. And then the, the fight in China will fail. Hey, we got the, uh, the light motorized anti-aircraft stuff. Which everybody always questions me over building. But it's fun, so why not? Did we get the improvements for the Marines? That's in... Well, that's in another different area, isn't it? So it's a bit early for advanced landing craft. The Navy's got stuck in. We're okay with where we are with those for now. Better torpedo launchers. What's that one? Torpedo reveal chance. Let's go for that. Let's help our subs as much as we can.
Yeah, and fighting through the communist mountains. There's some really, really rough areas to fight in. This, this is a tough area to fight in. I feel like I should send troops to get involved. But I know, I just know it's going to be something that you get bogged down in. It takes forever to go anywhere. And it'll be a hell of a struggle. Still, I should get an army involved somewhere just for the hell of it. This is looking a bit safer now, isn't it? I could put... Um... Is that a land border? We... Oh, no, no, it's, it's you can't go through there. Should I send the troops over? I've got an army of 20 here. Will I get sunk? 97%. Let me just put my escort ships on. Now they are. They are covering those areas I sent them to, clearly. 